Alright, so here we are, back in the world of Day Zero, after a while. Um, it turns out you can get robbed in this, because uh, obviously overnight, when I've been sleeping in my tent up there, the, uh, so I don't know, someone's taken my uh, my repair lorry, they've also taken all of my my gear that was in the crates there, and they must just load it into the back and drove off. I mean, maybe it wasn't such a good idea, but um, building a base in the middle of the town, obviously it's a busy area. Didn't manage to get away in my gas, however, because when I found out the keys were in it, luckily, under the sun visor, common place to keep keys in a vehicle. Um, I don't know, we're probably going to move the base into into a forest. Move it somewhere quiet so this doesn't happen again. I'm also going to go in search of some, hopefully some friendly survivors. Someone to accompany me in the wasteland, so I'm not just walking around on my own. You know, picking shit up. And uh, hopefully I can find someone. I don't know. Maybe they need my help, or they can help me. But um, I'm going to load this stuff up into the gas now and just get out of here, I think. And just give up on this one. I actually received a faint radio message. Um, I've not heard a single radio message since the beginning of this. And uh, I just thought I'd come and investigate it. It was coming from Devil's Castle. Uh, some, some sort of radio message saying that there was elements of the Chernarus National Guard still, still around. And uh, basically said that they set up like a sanctuary a, a food distribution point at Devil's Castle, so we're going to go up here and see what's going on. Um, I don't know how friendly they're going to be. But here we are now. It seems like the cards are okay. okay so I bet this looks a bit intimidating to be fair, so I better switch this off and then I'll go and have a word with these guys and see what's going on. могут помочь в этой холодной войне, да? Точно. Эти слова могут спасти твою жизнь. Ха-ха, может быть. В следующий раз ты должен научить меня еще чему-нибудь. Конечно. Увидимся. Okay, so the guy just basically told me I can go in as long as I I holster my weapon and uh, obviously don't try anything funny. It's actually a food, um, a trade food up here. And it's also like a little outpost for the Chernary National Guard. So, oh, I bottomed out there. Oh dear. So let's go and see how well these guys are set up. So they've got livestock up there, so it doesn't look like they're doing too bad. So we we'll leave this here. Yeah, and see what the crack is here. What's my weapon? So they've got a fair few soldiers up here, it looks. And you see this is a food guy that they're uh the food trade point that they've set up here. So I don't actually need any food at the minute, but it's nice to come up here and see there's actually some friendly people around and see that they're sort of resisting the apocalypse. The zombie apocalypse. So the Chernarus National Guard here have actually agreed that I can uh, sort of work for them and bring them supplies and stuff and they've they've uh, agreed that I can take one of their new, sort of a new recruit, he's, he's not seen much action um, with me in, uh, in my gaz here. Uh, unfortunately he doesn't speak, he's a mute. Um, I don't know how they let him in the army, but uh, I guess he needs to communicate well. But, uh, you know, discrimination and all that. But unfortunately he's a mute, so he doesn't talk that much. His name is Alexiev. Not that he can talk back to me. 
but yeah, he's going to bring his own kit, and we're just going to go um, spend the gas and see if we can find some stuff for these guys and bring it back. You know, helping these guys is helping the rest of the survivors in, in Chernarus, I guess. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get out of here. So after a quick chat with the commander at the Chernarus Defence Force outpost, he actually told us that there was, uh, he'd received reports of, uh, Check it out, see if there's any nice loot. And, uh, I don't know why the guy, uh, Alex, decided to call him Alex for short, sat in the back. I uh, guess he just doesn't want to talk to him. Not that he talks much at all. Stay in the vehicle. Oh, I'll scope. Uh, I'll take those just in case. Uh, I think that might be bigger than mine. But I'm not too sure. Okay, so there's nothing in this one. I remember from last time we can take these crates, so I am going to take these crates. If I can, because I've still got some of the base stuff in there. Ah, not enough space. So we got one of them anyway. Alright. Just check my map. Um, can head into the south perimeter fence, get a quick scope over the airfield, see what's going on there. So I've arrived at the south perimeter of the airfield. Um, there's a chopper and a plane on the runway on. There's people running around, not looking too good. So I'm gonna park up in the trees here. I've just caught an eye of a jeep driving around as well. Okay, so let's dismount this. So, yeah, you, you come in with me, yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, fucking hell. Yeah, you can just follow me. Okay, I'm gonna move on a foot. Uh, yeah. If you mind not getting so close to me. Okay, let's have a look at these guys. Oh, so they're walking around with um, AKs and stuff. Uh, they don't look too friendly. They're not broadcasting on the radio or anything. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay, maybe our friend here knows something that I don't. These have very good eyesight as well. Oh. coming over here now. Good one on the stealth mission there. Oh, we're 
taking fire now. Okay, now the helicopter's uh, spinning up. Okay, it seems to be an armed helicopter. So I can get back to my gas quickly. I've got something that can deal with that, I think. So the helicopter seems to be hovering up here. God knows why. RPG out of the gas. Just gonna close underneath it so we don't miss. <laughs> and we still missed. Okay. That ah, looks like he's bugging out now. I left. Got a four mag and then a half mag. Oh Jesus! Seems they got a plane in the air as well. But it seems that the pilot isn't too good. They almost crashed. Wait, has that thing got bombs? No, it's not armed. Thank God. Okay, well, it seems that we haven't got anything that we can deal with the aerial targets with oh jesus Fuck it. ok it seems our friend there has took out the gunner and the driver on the UAZ not sure who's shooting now See where the other shots are coming from. Okay, I can't hit the sky at this range. And uh, I think I'm running out of ammo here. I've got a full mag. I'm gonna move in closer to this. Jesus, yes. Right, we're suppressing fire. That's nice. Maybe on the outside of the wall for a bit of cover. Just gonna take these guys down. Is coming from. I know there's a guy around out there. Oh, he's still fine. Okay, I see it now. It's hiding. Okay, that's one down. Now we've got another one over here in the hangars. That's two of them down. That might be it. Do you see another plane at the other end of the runway? And we still got that helicopter. Cannot hit that with a rocket launcher. I'm gonna move back up to the vehicle. Grab the vehicle. And move down here and get what these guys have got.
planes just providing air uh, support, scouting or something. Side. I think we can take down this fence with this. Oh yeah, we definitely can. This is just some. I'm not trying now. Shit, so it seems there is more people here. Ah, oh, and now the zombies. It's okay, this is why we've got an armoured vehicle. Shit like this. Helicopters out of here again. So let's figure out where these other guys are that are shooting. coming from the front. A barrier with the gas here. Where's my friend? One down. See the other one. Guy's taking a fair few bullets. This thing zeroed wrong or something. I don't even know what's going on with this. So let's check out the inventory in this, see if we can get another weapon. No, it's just first aid kits in this. Seems like I'm sort of stuck in the middle of the runway. Okay, we didn't actually need that. Still got a few rounds left in this. Oh, there's one dead, I must have killed one. There's one. Ah, oh, gee. 
Ah, uh, hold on, one more down. Come on. This is why I don't like leaning and shooting. This doesn't seem to hit where you're aiming. Ah. How far out is that? Why is this not? Reload in! Come on! Okay, uh, that's going down. We've got to get out of this to take fire from somewhere else. Oh, that definitely just went down. Okay, we've got another guy. God, there's a lot of these guys here. Shit the plane. Reload, to come on. It's a perfect shot. No, he's gonna go over. Oh man, that was perfect. Okay, he's possibly going down as well. It's definitely going down. Is this thing damaged or can we take this? Oh, you can take this. But it's not armoured. Well, that's that successfully cleared. Oh no. I'm hoping that's not who I think it is. Oh, Jesus. Well, sorry, old friend. Seems the wasteland was just a bit too tough for him. God damn it. But it will take his gear. Ammo for this. Well, there's some machine gun sight. I don't want the sight off my weapon, which is in my bag. So now we've got a support weapon. Uh, I suppose the only downside is I'm going to have to tell them that their friend died taking this over here. But then I can tell them it's clear. And uh, I can also tell them that there's lots of gear down here ready for them to take. And this UAZ here with a 50 cal on. <laughs> so it's getting dark now, so we're probably going to have to head out and try and find somewhere to set up a camp. So I just over, um, moved over above the town of Petrovka where I know there's a, a few ruins of houses so um should be pretty covered here so I've just set up my tent just built a quick fire 
because uh, it gets cold at the night. And uh, we've locked up the gas, so hopefully we'll be safe here for the night. And in the morning we can head back up to the outpost and uh, give them the unfortunate news. And give them the good news as well.